but the task at hand today is to uh, go out here and put the roof back on the deer blind that was blown off in the Gus NATO whenever we had that. It blew all the tin off the roof, so I've got to reattach the tin. Then I have to go and uh, gather up the, or go to the co-op, get the fish for a uh, pond, take all the fish out there, and, and there's just a few things I've got to do today. So just follow along with me, folks, and we'll get this done. truck to help me. On a good note, it is just starting to shower. And that's, we haven't had rain in a month, so. Almost like a good lock, but golly. All right, back up on top of it. like I thought. There's a bunch of wasp in here. So I'm going to have to do something about that. Lots of wasp. Several wasp nests. It's just so cold that the wasp aren't active. There's a lot of wasp in there. Alright. I'm going to pull this apart and loosen it up some.
And the best way I found to do this is to shut the door. So I'm going to shut the door and then put it back. Door is shut. Tweaked a little bit. Now let's put this back on. That way it will shut completely. I'm going to bring it up a little bit to keep the snakes out. <laughs> Hopefully. shutting as it should now all right here it is wasp wasp <laughs> good shape it hasn't been really leaking anyway because it hasn't rained almost since it all this blew off all right and there we go the roof is back on the old blind so now if i can keep somebody from coming in here and tearing it up like they have in the past uh, which if they come in here this time, I'll, I'll know they're here. I'll, I have, I have ways of knowing from now on and I'll know who it is. But anyway, the roof was blown off during the Gus NATO. And, uh, so I just had to put that back on it. It's not exactly back on the way the blocks like I want. But this thing is heavy, heavy, and I need a little bit of help to hold it up if we're going to move blocks. So right now it'll work. So we'll continue to use it as is. There, it is turkey season, and I will probably come out here and sit in this all maybe this weekend, maybe. We'll see. And if we do, if I do, I'll bring you along. So, anyway. Fish day. So, what I've done is I've gone to the co-op or, and uh, there's a company that came, that comes ever once a year or so, once sometimes twice, and they sell fish at our local farmer's co-op. So I have bought some bass and some crappie, some perch, and some channel catfish, and I'm gonna be turning those loose in our pond. And it's kind of interesting way that they Have, the, have for you to carry those around. There's several in the back or even in the floorboard. And if you can see, we're also getting some 
much needed rain. It's been over a month, and now we're finally getting a little bit of rain. I think that we might end up with an inch of rain total out of all this. So we will take it because we <laughs> get pretty dry. Uh, I don't think it'll be enough to really have runoff rain or runoff uh, water, but I think it'll be enough to maybe get the grass kicked up a little bit. So as far as pond filling, I don't think it's going to do much for our pond filling. It might slow down the, the, the lowering of the pond, but I don't think it's actually going to bring the pond up any. Not this rain anyway. Not unless we get a lot more. But anyway, that's what I'm doing. I'm uh, going to take these out there and put them in our pond. Hopefully I can get back there to our pond. And uh, I'm in our one ton dually. And it's not the best thing to drive way back in there uh, to where that's at. Pretty heavy. And if it gets soft out there, it gets, this thing can get get down a little bit. It's four-wheel drive, but still yet, it's it's uh, not the best to drive on a soft field. So anyway, I will check back in when I get there. All right. Maybe not the smartest, but uh, since it's raining, I'm going to drive this dually out to the pond. Let's see if I can get through all this. Pretty wet. Right down here, which wouldn't be a problem for my little four-wheel drive Nissan, but this truck, we'll see how it does. Right here. Well, we're through it. All right. Now we're, it's gonna be, can we get through this field right here, or through this gate with these cattle right there? get over to that pond. See how this works. All right, I got through the gate. Now let's see if I can get through the cows. Come on guys, get out of the way. Across this little ditch right here. So low. Alright, so far I'm making it. Bottom hadn't fallen out of it yet. I think I'm going to park right here hey, as far as I'm going. Right here, so these are a bunch of perch, and these are a bunch of crappie, and here are a bunch of bass, here are a bunch of bass, there's channel catfish, and channel catfish. So that's what we're going to put in the pond. Alright, start off with these. Grab a couple of them. Go over here and start putting them out. <coughs> Cows are farming me like I got something to eat. I certainly hope this pond comes back. Because <coughs> it's pretty low. <coughs> and I'm gonna have to put these fish in off this point over or off this end over here. So so muddy like a slip and slide so muddy He's a 
big old heavy bag and a big old heavy rubber band on it. Mm. never a good time to film it doesn't seem like no matter what you do it's always windy or rainy bunch more bass those in there Right there. Oh. All right. I'm gonna go get some more fish. Put some more fish in. Mm. Not losing down in the water. So muddy. Mm. Got a bunch of bellering going on. And I can barely walk because of the mud, but the pond is stocked. So we are done with that. <sighs> Let me see if I can see how show you how muddy this is. Oh. It's just like a slip and slide across here. But we'll take every drop of rain we can get. You can see how far down that pond is. It's way down. The stocking rate was high. I stocked that stuff high because I expect a lot of it's not going to mm. make it. Because there are some other fish in there. There's turtles in there. There's a bunch of cranes that come through here. So if a third of them live or a quarter of them live, it'll be great. So anyway. Got an opportunity to drive the dually today. I actually picked the dually up from the shop. Uh, it had a radiator that needed to be repaired. So we put a new radiator in it and 
it is good to go. So, I know it's not much of an update. It's just kind of a little fish update. But, uh, it's another thing in the farm that we wanted to get done, and it's done. So, if you like this type of video, like and subscribe. And I'll continue to bring more content as it's available. And as always, everybody, God bless.